Hi, my name is Keith Cooper of North Flight Images and in this video I'm going to just run through some stuff I'm going to be testing in the next week or two and um, obviously if you've got any questions uh, let me know uh, because it's people's questions that often give me ideas for new short videos and the likes like that but it's a lens it is not a new lens uh, it's a new lens for me. Uh, this is my GFX 100S that I use for quite a bit of my architectural work these days. But this lens is a Fuji 30mm 3.5 lens, a fairly standard lens. Um, yeah, it's quite a big lens for a 30mm lens, but this is medium format. And I wanted to have a look at this lens at this focal length because sometime in the next you know, a couple of months or so, I don't know when unfortunately, I'm going to be testing the Fuji 30mm tilt shift lens. So I, what I want to do is take some photos with this, which is a standard prime, standard 30mm lens. It's very good quality lens, like all the, all the Fuji ones for this, and see what it looks like. Get a feel for 30 millimeters. Get some example shots of buildings that I will be using for when I'm testing the tilt shift, so that when I come, when I have the tilt shift, I can look at, at that as a 30 mil lens. Compare it to this. Now this is a fairly nice lens, and 30 mil. Why 30? It's 24 is normally my favourite focal length on 35mm cameras. There's a 24mm lens, it's an old Olympus one which is attached to my EOS RP that I'm filming this on. Uh, that's so the field of view of 24mm. The rough equivalent of that field of view is what you get with a 30mm here on that. So I'm going to be taking this out and testing it. Um, why have I got this other stuff here? Well it turns out I've still got um, a Hasselblad. X1D Mark II. So this is a 50 megapixel Hasselblad and it too has a 30 millimeter f3.5 lens on it. And I thought, well, since I'm going to be taking this one out to get a series of shots, I'll take this one with me as well. And I get a feel for, because I've, I've used both, I'm, I'm not massively, both are relatively new to me. I've not used them a great deal. Not, I can't compare them to how comfortable I am for using, say, my Canon 5DS, which I've used since 2015 for nearly all my commercial work and, and do still use for some things. But I just want to see what difference I get between them. I'm not really interested. Now, this is 50 megapixels, this is 100 megapixels. Really does not make much difference for this sort of stuff. Uh, yes, if I really wanted to do it, I'd need an X2D that's essentially got the same sensor as this, and then I'd be properly comparing the lenses. But for all intents and purposes, I'm happy to accept that what I get from using this, and I'm looking at aspects of usability as well, is going to be broadly similar to what I get from this. There's not going to be a massive difference. This was taken when I was testing the uh, the X1D Mark II, as was this, give you an idea of the field of view. It was partly the testing of this and realising how good these sensors are that uh, one of the things that convinced me to get this. Um, I got this, by the way, rather than uh, an X2D, uh, purely a because of the lenses. Now I use Canon tilt shift lenses such, such as this, the 17mm, there's 24mm as well. I use them with adapters on this and they work just fine. I've got some videos about that. But I thought since I've got the chance to try this and I, I really wanted to get some experience of using this at 30mm so that when I have the tilt shift lens it's not entirely new. So yes, the shift gives you more in that this is nominally, this is a TSE 24. This is a 24 mil lens, works absolutely superb on this, but it's 24, which gives a much wider equivalent. So this one here, I know that when I use shift on it, that's when it really comes into its own. That's why I have, like many people I'm told, I get asked a lot of questions, high hopes for the tilt shift lens that's coming from this. The Fuji are doing a longer focal length tilt shift lens as well, which I will be looking at as well. But obviously as an architectural photographer, my interest is the wider angle aspects of it. So uh, I will be going out and we have some nice weather in the UK for once. I shall be just going out, wandering about, um, and taking some photos and uh, we'll see what they look like. Anyway, if you've got any questions, as I say, let me know and uh, yeah.
that time I went out and did some photography. Cheers.